She is at the Natural History Museum this morning in Balboa Park with a look at a new exhibit. It's called Spirits in Stone. We are learning all about some art from Zimbabwe this morning in this exhibit called Spirits in Stone, Art and Animals of Africa. And joining us this morning is Anthony Potter from Zimbabwe. He's the curator of this exhibit. This is some amazing artwork. Tell us a little bit about, well, what I'm fascinated with is that a lot of these artists live in villages like the one in this picture here, and they create these amazing, amazing works of art. Absolutely, and then we'd like to say that we break the rules in this mm -hmm. exhibit. Uh, number one, when uh, folks come and visit the Museum of Natural History, we say, please do touch. Mm -hmm. And if you look at a piece like this, which is you could put in any collection of modern art in the world, just mm -hmm. extraordinary, um, and you look to where the people who live, who may create it, like this, the village scene here. In this picture right here? Exactly. It goes to prove that great art does not just reside in modern society. Absolutely. It lives within all of us, and these people, I guess I say that they don't, don't know that they can't do this, right. so they have complete permission to try, and they express their spirituality, and you can see this is a family, the parents lovingly looking over the child. Uh -huh. uh, just, just wonderful, but the, what they're showing is traditional life in a very modern looking way. And what's fascinating to me as well is that you said these are all hand tools. Yes. There's nothing uh, super technological about it. They, they sit in their village and they create with simple tools. Absolutely, whether it's in the villages or in the more modern towns uh, and cities. And we asked them a lot of times, you know, why do you stay with the traditional way? Why are you just using hand tools? And they said, well, why would I want to separate myself by power tools, mm -hmm. all the violence and the noise. Mm -hmm. My time with the stone is my only time I'm going to be with that piece. Mm -hmm. It's like serenity. It's almost like a meditation when they work. Well, and there's some pretty gorgeous, amazing pieces like this piece here that we were talking about yeah. earlier. Very heavy, very difficult to move all the way from Zimbabwe, but so impressive. Absolutely, and if you look at that piece and you realize that it started out, well, it's what, 14 feet tall now, mm -hmm. as a uh, 20 or 30,000 pound boulder, and all mm -hmm. of the material was removed to just come to this beautiful, sensual, loving couple. Mm -hmm. It's a two-sided piece. Um, and the, 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 as you were saying, that the desire to touch and feel the smoothness is just extraordinary. And it's okay if people come out to look at this exhibit. They can actually touch these works of art and just feel really how smooth the stone is and how gorgeous and, and the amount of work that must have gone into creating something like this. Oh, absolutely. This is called uh, serpentine. It's one of the main carving stones in Zimbabwe. It's very hard, mm -hmm. four and a half to the six on the, the most scale, you know, ten is a diamond on down. And uh, But you can really sense that artist's heart and, and their love and that love in that couple. Mm -hmm. um, and again, they don't sketch things out. They don't mm -hmm. draw them. They don't work from a plan. And this piece, if we can be risque on the early morning uh, news, is what started mm -hmm. was the, the derriere. That was that the inspiration. Nice, that was the inspiration. <laughs> That's what he saw. Okay. And that blush of color. Then he saw the arm. And then the other arm, and then he worked on around, and that was the whole basis of the piece. Okay, well, real quick, tell us, this artwork is for sale, and it benefits the museum. Yes. Of course, the artists in Zimbabwe get paid yes. for their work as well. Yes. Um, but tell us a little bit about this sale. People can come out and touch the artwork and, and decide if they want to buy something. Absolutely. It's one of those things. Uh, this is our eighth exhibit at this wow. wonderful museum. We love the Natural History Museum wow. here, and we love San Diego, of course. Wow. But um, we've been very successful here, and this was a place where we, we broke ground. It's revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Come to an exhibit and take some of that exhibit home with you. Mm -hmm. Touch the pieces. Bring your children. Right. And this is all child friendly so the children can come and touch the yeah. art. 50% goes to the museum and of course the artists have already been paid for their portion. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Thank it's you. absolutely gorgeous. So come on down, check it out. And like you said, you can actually come out and touch the artwork. And if you see something that you like, you can buy it as well. Back to you guys in the studio. You have to dig deep for that sculpture. Yeah, you sure do. Really deep. Amazing works of art. She is at the Natural History Museum.